What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? Hello, I'm Jo and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back and trusting me to be entertaining or informative or whatever you came here for. If you've been here before, then you already know, but if you're new here, I will go ahead and warn you guys or just make you aware that I do have children and they do continue to play in the background for the longest time. I tried to get them to be quiet while I filmed and then I started feeling bad for that because I tried to film all the time. So I finally just like, you know what, this is just part of my life and the kids are going to continue to play. So if you hear any ruckus in the background and then I keep filming and I don't acknowledge it, that's why. They're with their dad, they're not unattended, but that's what you're hearing. <laughs> now as you've seen by the title of this video, this is upside down, we are going to be comparing and unboxing together because I have not unboxed either one of them comparing adding up reviewing whatever you want to call it the base boxy charm box versus the boxy premium box now as you guys know boxy charm did have an option to where you can get two boxes instead of one now um, uh, each month so you get boxy premium and the base box and that's what I am comparing now last month um, it was my first month getting the Boxy Premium with the base box. And I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I was like, wait a minute, something's weird. Because the Premium box is $35, but it's supposed to have a higher value. Whereas the base box is $25. Um, so there's supposed to be like more items in the, in the Premium box with a higher value. But last month, that was not the case. There were more, more items, but there was less value. So I was a little bit confused. Um, but I was like, you know, I'm not going to cancel it. I'm not going to say it's not worth it yet. Because this is the first box that I've received. Um, and so we're going to try again this month. So that's the reason I have nothing on my face. Because I was going to go ahead and throw on my foundation and everything. But I did hear that we get moisturizers and primers in these boxes. Have not seen what I got. But I've heard through spoilers leaked on the internet, obviously. That um, our boxes could contain some of those things. So I want to leave my face bare. I want to try out as much as I possibly can for you guys. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a big thumbs up. So we're going to start out with the base box. So this is the base box. It's a little bit smaller. Now I did watch um, a little bit of Manny MUA's comparison for the base box versus the premium box. And his base box was the same size as his premium box. But my base box is smaller. So therefore... Obviously, I did not get the same variation as Manny. As you guys know, BoxyCharm does not have the same variations. There is like two, two or three items that every charmer will get, and then the rest are just variations. You just don't know what you're going to get, which I love that. I think that's pretty cool. Um, so we're going to go ahead and cut this open, and I will show you guys what is on the inside as I look. So... And as you guys know, BoxyCharm always has a theme, and then they put on the very top their little postcard thing that has each item that you receive, um, along with a little bit of advertising, and with each item that you receive listed, it tells the product description and their retail value. So, we're going to lay that right here. Oh, the theme is Adore, which is, ooh, it's Adore. 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 It doesn't just say adore. It has a little, you know, thing over the E. So, maybe it's adore. Makes it a lot more fancy and romantic. But, that's pretty fitting for February. Um, so, here we are. We're going to open up this little flap. And here are the products inside. So, I'm going to set this right here. And, let's get started. Okay, so... I did notice that one of the variations was you either got three of the Luxie sponges or you got these brushes. Now, um, I really didn't care as far as that part goes. I don't really care what variation I got. These are the Almar Cosmetics brushes. Ooh, this is like a perfect brush for like 
setting your under eye. I do not have a brush like this, so now I'm excited I got the brushes. I didn't really care at first. I have a little mirror off right here, so if you see me look over here, that's why. I usually have a mirror setting like directly behind the camera light right there, but that one keeps falling, so I just kind of put one off to the side right here. But this is literally like, if you can see, it's like tapered up, but it's fluffy, but still kind of flat. So, like, I do not have a good brush for setting my under eyes like that. So, I'm very excited about that particular brush. And there's three of them. So, let's see what this next one is. Ooh, this would be a good, like, bronzer brush, I feel like. Contour. Nah, probably not contour. It's probably too fluffy, but anyways. And then this one. Oh, I didn't even read what they're supposed to be. Okay, let's go ahead and... So this one is Brightening Brush. So yeah, that's actually what that one is for. This one... Complexion Brush. What are complexion brushes used for? I'm not sure. Um, Bronzer Brush. Really? Really? It's kind of funny look. Look, you see how like some of the bristles come up higher than the other? I guess it's supposed to be shaped that way. I would have not used this for bronzer, but since it's said to be a bronzer brush, now I'm kind of curious of how well it would prime up bronzer. So maybe I'll do that today with this brush. We are going to try to use as many products as possible for you guys. So the retail value for these, these are the Alamar Cosmetics Complexion Brush Trio. Um, vegan and cruelty free three piece brush set comes complete with a complexion brush, bronzer brush, and brightening brush for all skin types, flawless finish. Anyways, these retail for $36, but I'm very excited about these, so yes. The next thing I see is a matte liquid lip stain in the shade Wifey. This is my Huda Beauty liquid lip in the shade Wifey. I wonder if it's anything like it. Um, let's see. This is the. What is this? Queen, but with a V, like Q V E E N. Never heard of them. Um, it says if you're a full coverage enthusiast, this matte liquid lip stain is your superhero. Our extremely pigmented formula gives you a true matte finish in one coat with a 12 hour performance. This is nothing like that one, but not that I thought it would be, but it would be kind of cool if it was. Um, what does that smell? Oh, I just touched it. Oh, God. It doesn't really have a smell, actually. Um, but this is the packaging. It gives me big Kylie vibes, um, except it has dots instead of, like, that drip look. Oh, it's actually a really pretty color. A very, very pretty color. It's almost like a berry-leaning, muted pink kind of color. Mm. Again, my kids. Um, but anyways, so this retails for $17. So already, even with the brushes, we were already exceeding the value of this box because the brushes retail for $36, but this one is for $17. So the next thing I see is the Ciate London Everyday Vacay Setting Powder. Now, I am always down to try new setting powders. I feel like that really can make or break your look, um, and I always set my face. So... This says apply generously to areas with concealer to bake and set makeup. Leave on three to five minutes and sweep off for ex sweep off the excess for a crease free. That's how I normally do it. Um, let's see about it. Let's read what the claim is on it. Locking your makeup for long lasting wear with Ciate London's Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. I'm not a fan of coconut, but sometimes I can handle it in small doses. So it says delic delicately coconut fragrance to take you back to your beach vacay. Every day, this finely milled and lightweight loose powder smoothed over makeup for a crease-free, soft focus finish with no flashback. Mm, this one retails for $22. I'm really curious if it's really as finely milled as it claims to be. So, the packaging is super duper cute. It looks like this. I don't even know if that's focusing, but this is what it looks like. Um, Let's see if it actually does have that intense coconut... Well, I can't smell it yet, but it has that little sifter blocker sticker thing that us ladies with claws hate. It looks, I mean, it's obviously translucent, but it looks pretty white. I did not smell the coconut really, so that's good. This dried down really quickly. 
Okay, yeah, I do. It smells like a very light, lighter fragrance than the, um, uh, what is it? The, uh, Butter Bronzer, the Physician Formula. Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. It smells like that, but a lot lighter. Not as intense. This looks really white. <laughs> It does look pretty finely milled, but it says there's no flashback, but I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, up against my skin, I don't know if y'all can see, but I definitely have like a chalky look, so this kind of makes me scared, um, but we are going to try it. The next thing I see is this um, Pretty Vulgar Faux Reels Extreme Volume Mascara. Um, it says volume and lengthening mascara instantly increases fullness and delivers long luscious lashes from root to tip with just one swipe. Smudge proof flake free. Creating an intense black false lash, false lash effect. Retails for $23. So first of all, this is what the packaging looks like. Um, I'm excited for the like variety of makeup. So we have lips, we have brushes, we have powder. Um... And now we have mascara. So, okay, the packaging is adorable. Look at this. So my br my brush is really like a little make or break for me, like the way the brush looks. So let's see. Oh yeah, I can work with this brush. I can work with it. Okay, I'm really excited. I'm really excited about these. So this is in the shade Black Swan, by the way. I don't know if that's their blackest black shade, but it looks pretty black. The next thing I see is this Kate Somerville KX Active Concentrates Biomimicking Peptides Serum. Um, Kate specially formulated this highly active concentrate to transform dull, sagging skin into visibly firmer, smoother, refreshed looking skin. After just one week, 97% of women reported their skin vi appeared visibly tighter. This retails for a whopping $98. Now, BoxyCharm lets you have options, like you have like um, a choice for your box every month um, for one product. It lets you, uh, it shows you like multiple things that you could pick from and you pick one of those multiple things and this was actually one of my choices. Um, I think you had like an option to get the Becca Full Coverage um, Foundation, a couple more things and this and this is what I chose because I actually already have that Becca Foundation, but um, what is the instructions? AM and PM apply one to two drops to cleaned skin cleansed skin. Use alone with other use alone with other active concentrates or layer with serum or moisturizer. Let's see about it. Ooh, it doesn't smell so great. Like it doesn't have a bad smell, but it definitely does not have like a so I don't know if you can see. It had a little dropper. Oh, it just feels like water. Whoa. It doesn't even feel like serum. I was expecting it to be like oily. <gasps> Whoa. But once I rubbed it in, it definitely felt moisturizing. That was weird. Whoa. I'm excited though because I love Kate Somerville. So I'm excited to try that out. So that was it for the base box. We had a total of, well, a set of three brushes. So we're going to count that as one product. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five products. And in the retail value, we pay $25 for that box, and the retail value is $196. So now we're going to move on to the premium box. Okay, so this is our premium box. We are going to go ahead and open it up and see what is inside. I'm excited because this box is big for some reason. I don't know why. And, of course, even though it is a premium box, it has the same theme, I believe. Oh, yeah. So, same theme, different products. So, we're going to set this in my lap, actually, because it's too big to sit in the little space that one was just in. And, of course, we still have our little thingamabobber there. So, first thing I see is a whole daggum ceramic flat iron. What? Ceramic flat iron. Where is this at? Retails for $79.99. It's like not a mini. Like you know how they've, they've come with the minis before? This is not a mini. The magnetized ceramic plates deliver consistent heat along with the entire length of the plates for silky smooth hair and the finest results. 
The ceramic flat iron generates negative ions to combat the dryness and frizz created by the positive ions in the air and hair. What? How's this little? It's from the brand Sutra. Sutra Beauty. Oh, and it's like baby blue. I'm not going to lie, I was not expecting a flat iron, but that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Will I ever use this? Probably not. So chances are it'll end up in a giveaway. Because I have my ride or die um, nano titanium babyless, babyless, whatever you call it, um, straightener that I just don't see myself wavering from. So this may end up in a giveaway. That's why I didn't completely unwrap it. The next thing I see, and oh my god, I'm so excited about, is an hourglass product. Now, you guys know I love a lot of hourglass products. They have a really natural, glowy, beautiful, luxurious products. I've always been a fan of them. And this is the, I have the uh, hourglass ambient lighting highlight that brings that glow from within look. And this is the ambient lighting blush. BoxyCharm is like really picking it up. Like I'm so excited. When I go into Sephora, I went into Sephora with my husband this past weekend and um, I was looking at different products and I was like, oh, I love that brand, blah, blah, blah. And um, I was like, wait, that's in BoxyCharm next next month. Oh my God, that one's coming in. That's a, that's like a spoiler. That one's coming in. And it's like all in Sephora and stuff that I would normally buy is coming in a box that I pay $25, $35 for. So, this is the Ambient Lighting Blush. Discover a new way to blush. Groundbreaking hybrid. Combines the customized lighting effects of ambient lighting powder with a spectrum of breathtaking modern hues. The result is seamless, soft focus, and multi-dimensional color. Retails for $40. And we got the shade Diffused Heat, which sounds exciting. Look at it. Look at it. We're about to swirl and swatch I hope it looks better on the skin than it does on my finger because it looks pretty chalky and pale I hope it looks good on my face but we don't try it the next product I see is the Tarte base tape hydrating primer which I'm very excited about because what I've been liking doing lately is hydrating my face and using a matte foundation um, I found that works really well for my skin it makes the matte foundation apply a lot better um, I did see where Manny got this one oh and he said it had a coconut scent which is scary no it's not terrible sometimes Sometimes it's frightening. It smells more like that really dark. It does have a, a coconut scent, but not like as coconut as I thought. It has more of a tropical scent. It actually smells pretty good. Okay, so we're going to use that today. Oh, this retails for $30. So it says prep yourself before you protect yourself. <laughs> prep yourself before you perfect yourself. Turn up the base with this vegan coconut priming serum. Hydrate your skin for 12 hours. Rich yet lightweight makeup magnet is infused with a blend of coconut and botanicals to help nourish and smooth skin's appearance. The next thing I see I am super excited about. I love the brand Glow Recipe and that is what this is right here. And this is actually a Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. Immerse skin into a hydrating mist so ultra fine and delicate and it envelops your skin like a dreamy morning fog. This formula is packed with a juicy blend of 84% watermelon, hyaluronic acid, acid, and hibiscus a a AHAs to refresh skin and enhance makeup. So, is that what we're going to use as a setting spray today? Probably. Probably. I'm going to tear this box because they got it taped. But everybody talks about how amazing this smells, so now I'm really excited to smell it. But here's what the packaging looks like. I've not ever tried this, but I've seen everybody use it, and the mister on this looks... Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It smells amazing, and as much as I just sprayed my 
face feels so evenly misted because the mist on it is so fine. And it literally smells amazing. Everybody was right. It smells so good. Um, this is retails for $28. So this is going to be our setting spray today. The next thing I see is this Lavender Blossom Cores. I don't know if that's how you say it. It might be Cores. Um, K-O-R-R-E-S Body Butter. So, this is in the, sh the scent Lavender Blossom. So this retails for $32. Rich and luxurious body butter, deeply soft and smooth and nourishes the skin. Shea butter moisturizer is the perfect lotion for dry skin, helping to improve. I'm obsessed with lotion. That's my mom's fault. Ever since we were babies, she lathered us in lotion. Now I cannot stand to be dry. I cannot take a shower if I don't have lotion handy. I really won't. I won't take a lotion. I won't take a shower without lotion. So I'm curious to smell this. Oh my gosh. Oh, yes, ma'am. What's exciting about this is I'm all, I'm a sucker for a good moisturizer. And I know I keep saying Manny, but he's really one of my favorite YouTubers ever. But um, when he was opening his, he got this body butter. And he was like, oh, my God. And he actually already had one sitting on his vanity um, of a different scent. And he was like, I literally love this body butter. Like, I literally buy it myself. It's amazing. And it smells so good. The lavender one. Oh, my God. Oh, no. I might be addicted to a $32 body butter. And last but not least in the premium box, we have a 24 karat gold foil moisturizer from Fascia. It retails for $100. <laughs> 24 karat gold foil moisturizing cream helps dry areas disappear without leaving behind a greasy residue. Its unique formula helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles while firm, firming, tightening, and locking moisture into the skin. Now this just looks fancy and expensive. Can we just... 24 karat gold foil? What? Yeah, retails for $100. That's... That's a lot. <laughs> Okay, so, let's, sh ooh, this looks fancy. <laughs> Wait. Look at this. Fingerprints galore. <laughs> but look at this. It almost looks like honey. Oh, I'm a little nervous. Is this really sticky? Y'all seeing it? We're not. It was like. Play-Doh. <laughs> okay, well, it's really hydrating. Like, I had a few dry spots right here, and they're gone. So that worked. Um, okay. Actually, no, it smells like a, like rubbery, like slime. I'm not sure. However, I definitely will be using it because it just did like wonders for my face just now on the dry spots that I had. So there's that. But it better. It retails for $100. Okay, so that was it for the premium box. Um, thankfully, this month, the premium box does have a much higher value than the base box. So now life makes sense. And I will say, premium box is... A little more exciting than the base box this month so the premium box retails for a grand total of three hundred and nine dollars and ninety nine cents so a little over a hundred dollars more than the base box but only cost ten dollars more so that's exciting so with that being said I am going to continue my premium box so long as this continues so now let's jump right into trying out the products okay you guys it is actually the next day and the reason for that 
is I never did actually film trying on all that stuff but um, my mom and I both love makeup and um, talking about our boxy charm and all that stuff but her hasn't hers hasn't come so I told her after and that after I got my boxy charm I would call and tell her what I got so after I did the unboxing before I tried everything on I was going to give her a call and tell her what I got well I hadn't talked to my mom in a few days and my mom and I are very close we had a lot talked about we just talked and talked and talked and talked and then it was time for bed so I was like it's okay I'll film that part tomorrow so here we are if my hair looks a little more flat my face looks a little more tired and the angle is a little different that's why um so what I'm going to do is throw on some foundation really quick um and then I'll come back on to show you the powder that we got the setting powder that I'm really nervous about um and I will use that to bake I'll use the brush to set under my eyes and all that good stuff um, so I'm going to go ahead and throw on the foundation and I'll be right back. Okay, foundation is on and we are about to try out this setting powder, the Ciate London Coconut Setting Powder. Now, it says there's no flashback, but I'm just saying I have a pretty medium complexion and this looks really white. And when I was swatching it yesterday, like rubbing it even on my hand, it just looks like it would look a little bit chalky on me, but... We're going to try it. We're going to see. I am going to use that brush. Um, first, I'm going to blend out the creases I'm getting under my eye. But I'm going to use that brush that we got in that um, base box to set under my eyes and see how well this does for that. Because it really looked pretty promising. I'm going to kind of peek over into the mirror next to me. Ooh. Okay. So, you guys know how I said that you couldn't really smell the coconut that much well that was prior to me applying it because <laughs> you totally can when you when you apply it and like that powder kind of goes flying in the air you can definitely smell the coconut but it's not like it's more of like it smells a lot like the um, physician's formula um, butter bronzer that's exactly what it smells like actually um, but this brush is like perfection for setting under the eyes like it is it gets it's like soft enough and it just literally has that taper so it like presses really really well and I love love it like I'm so excited about this brush so so excited and I will say I put the powder like I set underneath my eyes so I was expecting kind of like a brightening because it is so white but actually, um, it is melting into my skin. So it must be really finely milled like they explained. And I'm not getting like any cast, like white cast. So now we're going to set the rest of my face and we'll see. So now I'm just going to take a Beauty Infinity, just like a fluffy powder brush. And we're going to dip directly into that powder. And just stamp this all over the rest of our face. I am going to see if it's good for baking too. I'm kind of curious. Right now, I'm not getting any sort of like white. Ooh, I picked up too much. I'm not getting any sort of like white cast or like any like even powderiness like look at all. And even just then, like I put, oh yeah, okay, well. Like, even just then, I put a good amount of powder on my head. And, like, looking in the mirror, I don't see, like, a white cast. Of course, you can see a little bit white right here because it got in my hair. But, like, so far, I actually really love this powder. It seems to be, like, blurring. And, again, it's really finely milled. But if you do not appreciate a coconut scent then you will not appreciate this powder like i said i'm not a huge fan of coconut scented stuff um but um this is not terrible you can just smell it as you're applying it but like i don't smell it anymore okay now i'm going to attempt to bake with it just to see because if you leave it on there for long periods of time because it does say you can bake with it so i'm going to press some underneath my eyes and what I love about baking with finely milled powders is they tend to like literally soak into the skin 
before you even get a chance to sweep them away, which I kind of appreciate. It makes me feel like they are actually going to lock everything in. So, as you can see as I'm applying it, how really incredibly super duper white it is. So I'm going to take the excess and just press it into my skin. And now I'm just going to take like a fluffy powder brush and it's not actually a powder brush it's just like a I don't even know what kind of brush, tapered highlighter brush but I don't use it for that because it's way too like fluffy and I feel like it's not as I'm going to leave it on my under eyes for just a tad longer as I just sweep over the excess but you guys not only is this like actually pretty like it's like it's not giving me white cast at all but it seems to be like it's not clinging to any dry patches it's like almost looks like it's like hydrating my skin in a sense if that makes sense it just looks like it's melting really well I'm not going anywhere, so I'm going to go ahead and sweep off this under the eye. I just wanted to see if I left that white powder on there for a long period of time, if it would give me any sort of, like, white flashback or chalky look of any sort, but I'm not getting that at all. My face is super powdered and doesn't look dry at all, like... I may have just found a go-to powder. Okay, so we did not receive like a bronzer, contour, anything of that sort, or brows. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is throw on my bronzer and contour and my brows, and we'll be right back to try out the blush. Okay, so I did forget um, that we did receive a, in that brush collection, we received a brush that was considered a bronzer brush, and it was an unlike any brush I would use for bronzer per se. Um, I did go ahead and, and contour just a little bit and then I'm going to throw on some Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer in Tantastic in case you're curious. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this brush. Now this was the bronzer brush. That was that Almar Cosmetics bronzer brush. And like I said it's so strange. It's just circular and it has like a lot of different um, lengths of bristles so I'm just curious to see how it would work for a bronzer brush just because it's not something I would have ever chosen for myself and I just want to see how well it actually works oh what wait a minute wait why is that working so well What? I'm actually take that Ciate London powder and I'm going to kind of carve out right here just to create like a sharpness to our bronzer. So brows are on and they decided that today is a great day to not have a great day. Um, so that took a minute. But it's fine. Everything's fine. They're just going to be um, distant relatives for today. So I was dusting off that powder and I really love how it does not leave a white cast. Like I'm really excited about that because it's actually a really good powder and my skin looks really good. I'm actually going to take this same brush and for the sake of the video because we are about to use a hourglass ambient lighting blush. We're going to use the ambient lighting powder to make our skin glow. So this is what I love this powder for. It's like a highlighting powder. Um, it does not leave like a, it's not shimmery, even when like when you swatch it, it doesn't even look like a highlighter. Like it really just looks like a glowy type powder, which is what I love to create that glow from within look. So that's what we're going to do. I'm not even going to use any highlighter today. We are literally just going to use this ambient lighting powder to just have like glowy skin. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it really just does like a glow from within and I really love this powder for that if I don't want to have like any extreme highlight. And so I will put this over top that blush as well. 
Um, I think that blush has a little bit of the ambient lighting powder swirled in it. I think that's the whole thing. But I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit nervous just for the fact of it swatches really pastel. And I don't know how that's going to look on my skin, but we'll see. Sorry, my camera battery died, so if you're in a different little frame, focus, whatever, that is why. Um, okay, so we are going to take this. This is the powder. This is this one is in diffused heat. Now, I, it looks beautiful. It really does. It looks beautiful. And I definitely can tell that the swirl in there is the lighting powder. So, maybe it'll give me that glow on, the, on my cheeks and I won't have to top it with anything. But we're going to see. Let me grab my blush brush. Okay, I grabbed my blush brush and I cleaned it off really well. It's stained, but I cleaned it off really well um, to make sure. Oh, you know what? We got like a blush brush type deal in our box. We're going to try it. It's actually a, technically a complexion brush, but it's angled and fluffed just like a good blush brush. So we're going to use this. We're going to see. I'm a little nervous because I'm really loving my makeup so far. So... Oh. It's actually really pretty. See, you remember how I was telling you guys that Hourglass has like a very natural type vibe, um, I feel like. Like with their face products, like their ambient lighting powder, their blushes, clearly. Um, even their foundation stick, I feel like it all gives a very, like, lightweight, natural look. So, I like my blush a little more prominent, but this is a very natural, like, flushed pink with a little bit of a glow. Just like I thought it was going to be, but it looks better on my skin than I thought it would because I totally thought it was going to be too pastel but as you can see it added like a little bit of a glow so it's beautiful it is beautiful if you if that's what you're going for I like a little more punch with my blush um but it looks really pretty so um my mom loves this kind of stuff so I'm gonna give that to her and just because I want to add a little punch I'm gonna pick up my NARS orgasm um, I actually picked up the NARS Orgasm X, which is a peachy version of the NARS Orgasm. And I will be trying that. It will be a first impression. I'll be trying that um, tomorrow or the next day. And my video will be going up either the first of next week or the end of this week. So make sure you are subscribed and your post notification bells are turned on so you don't miss that. It's going to be a Sephora um, and slash like Ulta haul try on slash review slash first impressions type deal i love this type of video so i like to film them um so there we go we're good with our blush um so oh before we throw on our mascara i am gonna try out that watermelon glow ultra fine mist i'm super excited about that oh i did go ahead and highlight my brow bone in my inner corner i can't not do that no matter if i don't wear eyeshadow or not it just brings the look together makes me not look so flat so we're gonna see how well this works is for like a setting spray. I love how it applies. So fine. Like it feels like 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 just then it probably sounded like I saturated my face, but if you guys could feel what I feel, it feels like there's barely anything on my skin, but it's very evenly dispersed. Like it almost feels like a cool air on your face, but it's obviously a mist. Like, it's just such ultra-fine mist. There's no better way to describe that than ultra-fine mist. Oh, I need to slow down. <laughs> so we're going to try out that pretty vulgar mascara. I'm not going to curl my lashes. I do have still a little bit of my lash lift. Um, it's You can tell it's kind of falling, um, which kind of does make for, like, an awkward... Uh, mascara application because it's like some are falling, some are not, some are curled, some are not. Um, but I do love that lash lift intent. So, whoa, first of all, this coats your lashes so evenly and quickly. So, love that. It is very black, so. I'm assuming Black Swan will be their blackest shade. If not, then 
dang because this is very black but look what that's doing for my lashes what while we let this layer dry we are going to try the lipstick so this is the wifey lipstick from it looks like it's supposed to spell queen but with the v if that's if i'm wrong about that somebody correct me um let me find a lip liner okay so my lips are lined and now we are going to try this out now it looks like a really like it looks like a good lipstick for a day that you don't have on eyeshadow I love like I love a more like bold loud lip when I have on just mascara okay this formula feels very comfortable it does look a little more fuchsia type on the lips but it's definitely a wearable shade. Like, I would wear this again for sure. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, I love filming videos like this because BoxyCharm is just a way to try all these different makeup brands and different things that you haven't tried before or you have tried before. And you just get it at a really inexpensive price. But I found two new favorites. Um, definitely that mascara is going to be my go-to mascara. I did not put on a second layer. Let me do that for you. But the mascara is definitely going to be my go-to mascara um it just the formula the application just everything about it is perfection i love the brush it just evenly coats everything so well it's layering really pretty and it's not clumping it's just kind of adding a little more volume and curl as you can see um so that part's Awesome. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Yeah, yeah.